A major so-called ransomware attack has been confirmed by state-run hospitals across England and Scotland. Reports are also coming in of similar attacks affecting organizations worldwide with more than 50,000 computers being targeted. The virus infects computer files and then demands money to unblock them. London correspondent Daniel Hawkins has the details. This attack has taken place as medics celebrate International Nurses Day, so maybe some sort of twisted irony here behind the timing of this hack. And secondly, the sheer scale of this is almost unprecedented, apart from the uh, many NHS trusts and hospitals across the UK which have been paralysed by this incident. Uh, this uh, attack has now gone global. We're hearing countries as far afield as Spain, Italy, uh, Russia, Vietnam, even Kazakhstan and Taiwan have been reporting similar problems. Uh, hospitals and GP surgeries, surgeries across the United Kingdom in the north, the southeast, uh, London have reported these difficulties. They've had their phone equipment, their patient records, even their x-ray equipment affected by this. As a result, they've been forced to cancel uh, routine patient appointments and tell everybody to stay at home except the most urgent emergency cases. Uh, ambulances here have been diverted to other hospitals, putting uh, services already at strain uh, under even uh, bigger uh, strain, so to speak. Uh, the information so far indicates that this is a malware called WANA Decryptor. It's a program which effectively hijacks the computer system and forces the user uh, to to pay a ransom that was $300 uh, in bitcoins to a bitcoin wallet somewhere on the internet uh, to release files which they claim are encrypted. Uh, now, the National Crime Agency in the UK, as well as the National Cyber Security Centre, are on the case. So far, they say it looks like a criminal incident and not an attack by a foreign power. We've seen many such accusations levelled at uh, certain countries over the past weeks and months in elections, in referendums. Uh, you could be forgiven uh, for thinking this time it's a similar case, but they have confirmed uh, they are not looking at that. They are looking purely at a criminal case here. Now, analysts have been looking why the NHS may have been targeted or partly targeted. Uh, it's because of the sheer amount of sensitive uh, data and information stored on NHS computers, medical records, national insurance numbers, payment details, and uh, hackers who perceive the system to be vulnerable uh, may have made a, an effort to target them. Now, the big question, of course, for many people, has patient data been compromised? Uh, so far, NHS sources, no evidence uh, say that no, there is no evidence that patient data uh, has been leaked or released as a result of the attack. Nonetheless, this is very much an ongoing situation. It's been escalating throughout the afternoon and early evening here in the UK and globally. And we'll, of course, bring you more uh, on that as information comes in.